Oh, hey everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today along with... Uh... Lieutenant that... Rakir, we're just almost ready with his food! <laughs> just a moment, he's named a fork! 
Anyways, welcome to Showcase Sunday number 101. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just again, it's, <laughs> it's still a bit of an odd feeling to have gotten into the triple digits with this. But yeah, for anyone new, what we do here typically during these streams is that we take some 4 to 8 stream, not 4 to 8 streams, 4 to 8 games. Uh, we give each about half an hour for about 2 hours total to see if there are any good or not for later streaming. Though if a game is bad or just doesn't want to work for some reason, we will move on to the next, of course. But typically we get 4 done, uh, but I have 4 backups just in case of, well shenanigans and such and the first game here is called Neurodeck or rather Neurodeck Psychological Deck Builder as GOG calls it and uh, yeah let's see welcome to the Neurodeck Neurodeck is a tool to explore subjects personalities and dive into their psyche you will be able to explore their subconscious thoroughly be careful though you will meet uh, their deepest most dangerous fears and you will have to defeat them uh, also hello there in chat Ginger Fox VT how, how are you doing today huh Hello there, Junior folks, and welcome! Okay, understand the risks. Let's see. Explore the subconscious of a character. Everyone has a past, a present, and a future. The past is a good way to understand what you are today. Your present actions will also impact your future state of mind. Time is a continuous flow that can be invigorating, scary, or exhilarating. Learn about what they're made of. Okay, Lee, or Lei. She left her country to discover a new world, but has a hard time understanding this new realm. Okay, unsure why it shows uh, Xbox controls when I'm using the keyboard and mouse. Okay, let's see. At the beginning of the run, you gain plus 20 max stamina and plus 20 max uh, sanity. Okay. Emotions are driving your state of mind. At the basis of a spiritual journey, your emotions impact your possibilities, your cards. Uh, can you choose an emotion? Are you mastering which emotions you're going through? Okay, finish the game to unlock this. Okay. Let's see. Phobia loses 6 HP. You regain 8 stamina. You regain a 5 sanity. Phobia loses 8 health. Player regains 2 rest. Okay. Yeah, like it said in the, in the subtitle, this is a deck builder. And let's see, looks like we've got quite a journey ahead of us. So I'm going to start the timer here. Let's see. Choose a trait that changes your playstyle. Nursery. Nursery welcomes newborn who are all unique and special in some way. Okay. Uh, lucky, at the beginning of your turn, you have a 50% chance of drawing an additional card. You gain two rest at each time you use Mind Focus Inner Peace. Each time you take damage from the Phobia, you gain two wrath. We... Okay, one thing already that is not too good of a thing, it doesn't explore what these things are. Like, I'm guessing this is a card. It doesn't tell us what Wrath is. So let's go with Lucky. Okay. Well, we know what a Wrath is, just we don't yeah, know what it is in this context. Yeah, it, yeah it, we don't know what it does, and that's what... Let's see, new bonus, meditating and focusing on... You will understand new things, a quiet classroom with only a teacher. He agreed to give you advice every class. Okay. Okay, that upgrades. Let's see, you gain two actions. This card fades after use. Again, it does not say what it will do. Uh, let's do that. Phytophobia lurking in your mind. Blenophobia. Blena will use anxiety to stick on you, causing indirect damage. Arachnophobia, a simple challenge that can still bite pretty hard. Let's go with whatever this is. Like, we all know what arachnophobia is, fear of spiders and such. But what the hell is blenophobia? Mind focus, sacrifices stamina, but lets you draw a card. Use it. These are your action points. Most of your actions cost one action point. Okay, so we can do three things in a turn. When you reach zero action points, the phobia plays its turn, and so on. Okay, so we know what it's going to do. Okay, now we get explanations. Player loses 15 sanity at the beginning of their turn. Okay, so anxiety is basically uh, poison damage. Okay. Uh... Okay. Snail, but with a hairy shell? 
Okay, it does show the effects of cards when we mouse over them. Let's see, rested, gain two... Okay, gain two... Uh, two of what? Two health, two hearts. Do we have stamina and sanity over there? I don't see any heart stuff. Uh, let's play this. And... With zero stamina... If, oh, if you have zero stamina, it lays 870 instead. Okay. We gain stamina by ending early, I'm guessing. And we have no cards to draw. Okay, so let's just play everything else we can. Um. Okay. Now it's their turn. Okay. Let's see. Gain 5 block during its turn, you lose 10 sanity. Okay. Um, needle it with that again. And then we use these. Hmm. Okay, that is a lot of damage. Okay. Okay, hmm. I like the art style, I like the most design of the character art, but I don't like the theme of anxiety and such. Yeah, and well, the fact that you can't see what stuff does, or it doesn't really explain it what stuff does, that's not a good thing to have in a deck builder. So I think after this we'll probably call it on this one. Yeah, Oops. and again... I'm never really a fan to play games that they dance into depression and such for. It tends to be depressing. Yeah, and it's one of those things that be like. can backfire. Yeah, and this Ooh, is also the fact I mean. that this is our very first fight, and we're already just getting our asses completely kicked. Yeah, oh bloody heck. So, the, nice. Uh, wait. Okay, thirty. Okay, yeah, that's an. That's a kill. Yeah, yeah. Just. Okay, balance much. <laughs> the phobia defeated your mind. Your body is still up and running. So maybe you can give it another try. Uh, yeah. I. I already saw on GOG that the reviews for this weren't too favorable. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's stop the timer, or rather reset it. And uh, update later, GOG. Okay, on to the next game then. And like I said, this is why I have backups, so let's see. <laughs> yeah, that's a name that's fallen out of favor in recent times, huh? Yeah, kind of sad. And, well, I think people can take a guess at what next is next, then. Yeah, a game I actually have played uh, long ago, and sometimes still do, sort of. Okay.
Okay, that was a well done fight, I'd say. It, it has eight red lights, I even. Yeah. Oh, bloody heck, how old is this? Early 2000. Uh, yeah, 2000 somewhere. But I, I like that with each, with many of the blows, the, <laughs> whoever that was, were still beaten back because this Minotaur's sheer size and strength. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. This is Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition. And I've never... I've seen someone play a part of this game, Kikoskia that is, uh, and I have played Neverwinter Nights for myself up to close to the ending of the game, but I never managed to finish that because my saves kept getting deleted on the freaking old laptop that it was on. So, uh, yeah, I remember little about this and I know le <laughs> even less about the end game of it, so... I have it's... finished some of it. Like, I haven't finished the main game, but I have finished one of the original DLCs for it. It's... okay. They've got a bunch of community campaigns in here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Classic campaigns, Wailing Death, Shadows of Un... Wards of the... Un I'm guessing these are DLCs that got added on at some point. Uh, okay, uh, this uh, is a lot of content. Is the original, the classics are the original. I think it's yes. one of them I finished due to somehow a bug activated that was made me immortal. Okay. <laughs> Onto the final boss, then immortal was gone, but I still defeated the boss. Let's see. You find yourself at the center of intrigue, betrayal, and dark magic in Neverwinter Nights. Journey through dangerous cities, monster-filled dungeons, and deep into uncharted wilderness in, or in search for of a cure for a cursed plague ravaging the city of Neverwinter. The Wailing Death is the original campaign, taking place across four chapters in a prelude. It showcases many of Neverwinter Nights' original features across many geological areas, with a large variety of characters, quests, and villains. Developed by Bioware in 2002. Okay. I, I gotta say, I'm impressed with how much they put into this. I'm, I'm pretty sure it wasn't actually Bioware that made this enhanced edition. It's probably somewhere in the... Actually, I'm going it, it, to look it, it, at it up right beam now. Dog. It's Beamdog. Okay, and so... They all, they all, it not Ghost Ship. There is a night HD night version of it already with better graphics, but it's not officially out. You can download it and try it out, but they are probably going to release it as an official patch when it's done with all models, everything gets a massive graphical update. Okay. Hmm. Maybe it'll do uh, Neverwinter Nights 2 and all that extra stuff again, because this is oh. this is a lot of uh, material in this. Oh, they can't. Oh? Another team made it Neverwinter Nights 2. Okay. It was not Beam Dogs. Yeah. For now, at least, let's start here then. Let's see. Lady Arabeth herself has ordered the Academy to send you an invitation to come train. The module serves, this module serves as an introduction to the Wailing Death campaign and the game of Neverwinter Nights. It features some light story accompanied by gameplay tutorials and objectives. Multiplayer games should start at the beginning of Chapter 1 with their level 3 characters. Okay. The Frozen North, the game given to the stark and unforgiving frontier that lies beyond the High Moor, <coughs> high moor of Faerun. A bleak wilderness where barbarian clans and tribes of giants roam the land and fierce dragons rule the skies. But amid the frozen savagery stands a bastion of civilization, the city of Neverwinter, Jewel of the North. Behind the city's high walls, those both hardy and brave carve out an existence in this bleak land under the guidance and protection of the legendary hero, Lord Nasher uh, Alagondarm. Yet there are some things that all the courage in the world cannot stand against. Uh, uh, let's let's just start before we're busy play with this for too long. Uh, let's see. Let's go with the premade and let's just go with a fighter, most <laughs> most basic quote unquote class, but also very uh, very good to start with. The frozen north, the name given to the stark and unforgiving frontier that lies beyond the high moor of Faerun. A bleak wilderness where barbarian clans and tribes of giants roam the land and fierce dragons rule the skies. Are they just going to say everything we but just read? The frozen savagery yeah. stands a bastion of civilization, the city of Neverwinter, 
jewel of the north. Behind the city's high walls, those who both hardy and brave carve out an existence from this bleak land under the guidance and protection of the legendary hero, Lord Nasher Alagonda. Yet there are some things that all the courage in the world cannot stand against. A virulent plague swept the city, a terrible affliction that began in the beggar's nest. Soon, all of Neverwinter would feel the touch of the wailing death. The disease could not be cured. Panic ensued. The streets erupted into violence. The Jewel of the North was brought to its knees. To save Neverwinter, Lady Aribeth de Tilmerand, Paladin of Tear, and Lord Nash's right hand put forth the call for a champion. A rush of would-be heroes answered her call, some drawn by promises of grandeur and glory, others by the lure of gold. Those with the greatest potential were initiated into the academy to train and study under the greatest minds of Neverwinter, all in the hopes a champion might emerge to save the city from the wailing death, and whatever sinister force might be behind it. Okay, this is not completely unlike what I remember Kikastia playing, so he might have been playing a custom or DLC th thing or something. And hello there in chat, uh, Red, Red, Viper, Red Viper Serbia. Average day in Budapest. <laughs> well, it was during a time. I believe that is where one of the places where the Black, de the Black Death spread from really quick. Okay, that's pretty low in audio. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I noticed this when I reinstalled it, that in the past they were rather loud. Here they're almost quiet. My name's Pavel. I'm one of the new recruits. I just arrived here at the academy this morning. Okay. Uh, yes. Is it true what they say about you, that Lady Arabeth herself ordered the Academy to send you an invitation to come here for training? I've never heard of anyone being invited to train at the Academy before. Usually people are begging to get in. It must be a great honor for you. Uh, let's see, it's both an honor and a privilege for me to serve Neverwinter. You're pretty modest for someone who's got such high expectations on him. It wasn't quite so easy for me to get into the Academy. My brother Bim and I were working on uh, in, uh, on one of the nearby farms outside the city when we heard Lady Arabeth put out a call for heroes to come to the aid of Neverwinter. Uh, also, I forgot, uh, how are you doing, Red Viper? If I might ask. Let's see. We knew the city was suffering, but we didn't realize how bad things were until we got here. We arrived just before they sealed the gates and quarantined the city. Thank the gods I got accepted into the academy. I wouldn't want to be out there on the streets with the plague, not with the city guards barely able to keep order anymore. Let's see, I don't actually know that much about the plague. The Wailing Death is a plague worse than any recorded in the entire history of Neverwinter. The whole city has been quarantined. Nobody is allowed in or out. The Neverwinter militia do their best to enforce the quarantine, but people don't like being trapped inside the walls of a plague-infested city. <laughs> yeah, infested city, yeah. Even more, every day more bodies pile up in the streets and the citizens move one step closer to panic and open rebellion. Can't say I blame them. It's only been a few, mo a few months and already the dead number in the thousands. Uh, let's see, can't the clerics and priests do anything to help? Most people have given any up any hope of finding a cure for the wailing death. The potions and medic uh, medicinal, uh, medicinal herbs do nothing and even the prayers to of the city's most powerful clergy have been ineffective. And yeah, seeing how powerful magic is in uh, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, even in 3.5 edition, which this I believe uses, uh, actually, 
I know Neverwinter Nights 2 used 3.5. I don't know if this game used the same system. I know I, I know 3.5 decently. Wait, wait. I have the manual. <laughs> okay. And I think it's 3.5. I think they used I think they used the four on the second game. But there's some function in the, in the, the second game that this one does not have, like uh, monkey grip. Uh. Fourth edition was not used in Neverwinter Nights 2. I think the only game that used that, to my knowledge, was the Neverwinter MMO. Let's see. I guess that's why Lady Arabeth ordered the Academy to open its doors to new recruits. The city needs a hero, someone who can save us all from the Wailing Death. The word on the street is that Arabeth is actually working on a cure right here in the Academy. But that's just a rumor, probably not even true. Uh, let's see. Anything else you can tell me? You can speak to my brother Bim over by the door if you want some tips on adventuring. Otherwise, you, sh you should go see Olgard in the in the next room. He's the one in charge of equipping all us recruits for our training. Okay, goodbye. Uh, yeah, probably shouldn't take too much time just chatting along with what is ex basically a tutorial. Uh, let's see. This door is presently barred. Okay, uh, we can look around with the mouse. Okay, I'm guessing these are our barracks, or more quarters from the size of them. Okay, just to let you know, you can break out of a conversation at any time by pressing the escape key on your keyboard or by walking away from the character you are speaking to. Now let's begin the tutorial. Whenever you left-click with your mouse on a creature or object in the game, your character performs a default action. Default left-clicking actions include speaking to a person, attacking a monster, or opening doors and chests. Go on. Let's talk a little bit about camera control up. Also, the fourth wall is completely gone. <laughs> there are three different styles uh, you can use when playing Neverwinter Nights. I'm setting you to the top-down mode to start this tutorial. That's the default setting for the game. Okay. Okay, if you're happy with this camera mode, we can continue. Neverwinter has several difficulty settings you can choose from. I'll explain the main difference with okay. Uh, multiplayer, no. In easy settings, uh, again, is limited to maximum of 50% after normal, and all your hits do a minimum of 50% normal damage to them. Also, your spells won't hurt your own party members. Normal setting damage rolls are calculated normally, although enemies can score critical hits on you. Your spells still won't hurt your own uh, party members. The hardcore setting makes players vulnerable to critical hits and also gives enemies attacks of opportunity if you use ranged weapons or potions in melee combat. Your spells will now injure your own party members if they are caught in the area of effect. I'm pretty sure friendly fire is on by on normal in Neverwinter Nights 2. Game has been balanced for the normal difficulty setting. Okay. That's it for difficulty. Okay, you can right click on any object or creature in the game, including yourself. Very important to remember, as right-clicking will bring up a menu that lets you access most of your abilities and actions. Okay. Uh, attack. Uh, to punch me. Okay. Three o'clock on the menu. Let's see. There. I want to talk to you again. <clears throat> That's in effect. It, it, even here, Roger, well, because uh, it's a HD remake and all that. We're in Shonda Edition, where they are going to upgrade the graphics, but okay. it feels like it has aged well otherwise. Could have been much worse, indeed. <laughs> yeah. Look at your quick bar at the bottom. The quick bar is one of the most important features of the game. You should learn how to use your quick bar. Let's see, we've got attack, talk, examine, stealth mode, detect mode, and our equipment. A short sword and some potions. And we've got our feet select, uh, selected in here as well. Power attack. Uh, to use an ability from the quick bar, just hit the corresponding key or click in on it with your mouse. You can pull up a second quick bar by holding down shift on your keyboard. Hold shift and press the corresponding function key. Okay. In case you want to quick access your spells or such. You can pull up a third. Okay. <laughs> if in case you have a lot of spells. Are you saying something? This yeah. game might be the most accessible of the of the two, since Neverwinter 2 was on Steam but could pull down due to legal issues. Like, I think people did work on it, but apparently whoever who could, whoever did publish it, 
it was not Bioware. For Bioware and Team that seemed to work together. But it was a third party that made them forced to take down the second game from Steam. And doing. from there not being able to be sold elsewhere. Okay, just did a quick search and yeah, Neverwinter Nights 2 seems to be missing. <laughs> Good yeah. thing I have a physical copy then. Yeah, for, that's, for, that's the thing, Ilian. Mm -hmm. Once I can play it, all the ones would still have the physical copy or download a illegal version. Let's see, pause and play. In multiplayer, it is up to the uh, DM whether pause and play will be available. Let's see, when pause and play is enabled, you can pause the game by pressing the space bar. These actions will show up in an action queue across the top. Okay. You can also switch equipment, armor, and weapons while in pause mode, although like the actions in the action queue, these won't take effect until normal gameplay resumes. To end pause mode, just press the space bar again. Okay, we're almost done with the tutorial now. We covered the most basic controls, so now uh, time to focus on how you rest. Resting is a very important part of the game. Remember to rest often, heals you, and it lets you prepare spells, and it restores any feats or special abilities you may have used up. In order to rest, just click uh, left click on the rest icon beside your portrait. Uh, this one, I'm guessing? Yeah, it's the sh shot eye. Once you're done resting, come speak to me again. Okay. Of course, this will... <laughs> this can get interrupted by enemies and such. Wait, are we, how much do we have remaining on the timer? Uh, let's see. Uh, I moved it away. So let me see. 30 minutes, so about half of the time already went to the tutorial. Okay. Equipment. Okay. Yeah, th that is a weakness of these showcases when there's a long tutorial. Well, it can get eaten up. It, it can eat up the entirety of the showcase if we're not careful. The city guards are already having enough trouble maintaining control as it is. Plague bodies piled a dozen deep in the gutters, the wailing deaths running unchecked through the districts. Horrible, I say. But you've heard all this before, I'm sure. Here, I've got some equipment for you. A fighter like you might find it handy in completing your training. Now, if you're ready, I will give you a tutorial on how to access. Okay. Uh, yeah, basic. I to access. I know something earlier. Hmm? I'm glad they did not showcase this uh, last year or the year before. E yeah, due to <laughs> something that is still going around these days. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's still going on. Equipment that. slots. Okay. Just drag from one to the other. Equip. You can when you examine magical items, the game will automatically check your lore skill. If your skill is high enough, you will get a complete description of the properties and abilities of the object. If your skill is too low to properly identify an item, you will not receive the fully detailed description when you examine it, and you cannot use or equip any items that it, until it is identified. Okay. Uh, yeah, that would be bad. If you could equip unidentified stuff, which is a common thing, you could accidentally equip something that is cursed. And cursed items in D&D, &D, though rare, can bite pretty hard. Typically, they, they come with a curse that refuses to let them be unequipped in the first place. And other penalties along with that. Okay, stores can identify. Yeah. Identify spell would temporarily increase your lower skill to raise your chance of identifying items. Okay, simple... Uh, yeah, we, it's pretty easy how stores in these types of games to really move, just move your stuff to their inventory and theirs from yours to infant to buy it. Okay. Oh, merchant relationship is neutral. Okay. So you can get discounts and such that way, I'm presuming. Yeah, that's a new thing. For, in this version, the hands is called Ench. HD Enchant Edition, or just Enchant Edition, HD or something, is there's a lot of quality of life and bug fixes to this it's game. Ju it's just called the Enhanced Edition. All right. Uh, HD from Map and Journal. Uh, let's skip that. That's pretty basic stuff. Just Map, Journal. Oh, yeah. That's a reason why it's called the Enhanced Edition, at least. But they have been fixing up a lot. 
My tip. Okay, combat technique. Uh, it's, uh, you don't just stand there with a dopey expression. That's where I like to hear recruits. With that attitude, you might actually make something of yourself in this world. This information might save your life, so listen up. Whenever you use, want to use a feat or special attack on an enemy, right click on your opponent and bring up the menu. Then left click on the special attack. This opens up a second menu with any feats or special attacks you might have. Okay, sir, yes, sir. On the special attacks menu, you will see the parry icon located on the very top in the 12 o'clock position. Uh, left click on this icon whenever you want to enter parry mode. When parrying, you do not attack, but you are able to make an oppose check to deflect or dodge any incoming attacks that would otherwise hit you. Each round, you can parry one successful enemy attack for each attack you would normally get. If your roll succeeds by 10 or greater, you will make a free counter attack at no penalty. Okay. Would be pretty pretty useful for tank uh, characters. The weapon isn't just for killing recruits. Sometimes there are other uses like opening a chest or locked door, but basically just smashing the lock or, well, the entire thing. <laughs> if you find a lock, you can get a paused, right click and bash. You can even do this with missile weapons. The stronger you are, the easier it is to bash open a lock. Just remember that not all locks can be opened by force. Yes. Uh, rest up to you. Time to prove yourself by facing one of the Academy combat tests. Okay, go speak to my assistants. Corporal Dandy in the southeast end of the room can teach you in melee weapons. Then for your test in range combat and missile weapons, speak to Corporal Herritz near the west wall. Okay. Uh, okay, we have a compass over here. So... Let's see. South E... U? Let's see. <laughs> yes. Okay, you and I are going to spar. I will be in parry mode the whole mo time, trying to deflect your attacks. All you have to do is hit me once to pass the tests, or if you prefer, all you have to do is use your weapon to destroy the target dummy next to me. Choice is up to you, either attack me or the dummy. Okay, since I'm not hostile, you have to right click and select the attack. Okay. That was easy enough. Would, of course, be a lot harder for a mage or something. Uh, let's see who it's there. Okay. This is taking a long time. It isn't really that interesting since it's, well, it's a tutorial, but this game's reputation precedes it. So I might actually be interested in streaming this and Neverwinter Nights 2 at some point. I'll be up for that. I just hope right. you'll be able to make your version work, since, yeah, it's an old game, and it says they, they've all legal issues. I think it has been harder and harder for people to play it, even when, with physical model, uh, model, physical copies. Yeah, it might need some words. Okay. Oh, that voice you have there. Yeah. Nice shot. I need to talk to you again. Justice. Okay. Congratulations are in order. Yeah. If, okay, and that's our <laughs> yeah, that's our graduation. Uh, we're ready for graduation. Okay, Lady Arabeth is here. You're kidding, right? Everyone knows. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. Goodbye. Oh. I should probably warn people. This might be the one of the first games. In the full thousands, you introduce or at least test one thing with this character we are about to meet. Umbar hawks. Okay. What are th okay? These are some strong beasties here, so this is obviously oh, not the God. way to go. Um, yeah, because it is. You, you will not notice it, Hillian, unless you scroll in close when you meet Lady Arabeth. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing the big doors. Uh, barn to door. Okay, two. Okay, we don't have access to that. Uh, uh, bonk. <laughs> Slam the door back in our face. Okay. Uh, statue. Okay. Yeah, you're going the wrong way. Yeah, that is very obvious. Also, let's unequip that crossbow. 
useful to have, but as a fighter, it'll be more better to be at uh, close range. Now that you've okay. Training, you can... Okay, let's head out. And let's see if things go immediately wrong. Yeah, and scroll in. It's very obvious Dark Knights is still like there. Dylan, Fonlin. Okay, I like that how most of the characters get voice, not not get voice, get a, a name. And uh, yeah, what about her? Just uh... <laughs> this. She's the only character that has ego physics. <laughs> okay. Bad ones too, sadly enough. It looks watery. Uh. Okay, perhaps after really. Yeah, yeah. And with that comes Glacier Boy. Hello, Glacier Boy. <laughs> hey, Glacier. How are you doing? And I will say this: the voice acting is good, and I think this, this story actually quite good as well. Yeah, th this is Bioware in among their heyday, and that's someone gone already. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure that little sound effect there was also in Techno Mage. Okay. Yeah, he's a stock uh, sound. Good God. Uh, oh, so that. Okay, that's the creatures that we found? Uh, yeah, you walked into a <laughs> Neverwinter Nights. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, Loskin is always causing trouble with those wizards saying. They I would take you to the our attackers appear even now our enemy you must okay. take this hurry make the fate of never win okay now we just need to rush back I'm guessing yeah really, you know, what has by way done that's like I know this people still respect them but see but they have fallen down due Oops. to EA forcing them into things yeah things are based after uh Mass Effect Andromeda, things have basically been falling off in quality. Like, I'm, from what I hear, uh, Andromeda is better now, but the fact that it's, oh, it even launched in a state where it was barely on, you know, barely playable, and I say that as someone who played it in the, you know, in the early days of it, uh, yeah, it would just, it would just not work at a lot of times. So, yeah. Yeah, but from what I said, it seems like it's mostly to do with EA, not yeah. giving them time or just forcing them to use resources that are horrible. Yeah, like the, the Frostbite, I believe it was the Frostbite uh, engine that was used for uh, Andromeda, which I believe is not a good engine for shooters. It was, it, it was meant for shooters and they were forced to use it for Dragon Age and such. Okay. Because it was not meant to do. Okay. So we now we now have a cleric as a, a companion. It's a, uh, yeah, this is not the board, MMO. This is not the MMO. This, this is, is never. This is never Winter Nights Enhanced Edition, and plus the the MMO drops the knights part anyways. I just realized the original came out 2002. This missed the game. 21 years old. Yep. Okay, it looks. Okay, auto attacking is a thing. And hello, skeleton. But, yeah. Hmm. Okay, if we do stream this game specifically, we're going to just skip over all of this tutorial stuff. But yeah, since we have only 15 yeah. seconds left on the timer, I think we can call it a little bit <laughs> early. So yeah, uh, this would be a long project, uh, definitely. And while there's so oh, many true. of these, we'd probably focus on the main campaign, but maybe as a side thing, we could do some of the other ones. 
uh, maybe even get some other people included in, in that, since multiplayer is a thing. I know one of the two original DLCs are doable, for it's not do one of them I did finish, but not too long. I did finish like in within a less than a week. Okay. Oh, on to the next game. Which well has quite a reputation as well, though a lot more recent. Uh, if OBS will capture it any second now. Oh, got some text. Oh, apparently uh Glacier Boy having trouble with the Twitch. So he they may not be able to watch. Okay. Yeah. Near Automata. <laughs> One of the games, but not near Automata, I have the original first one before they went into the whole robot thing. Yeah, I, I believe this is officially like the third game or so in the series. And yeah, yeah. Like, yep. the first Oops. one was people thought was okay, but we seem to grow in popularity of the second and third. Okay. This game does not support autosave. Play the game to find out how to save. Oh, okay, good thing to point that out, because, well, uh, otherwise people would lose a lot in their saves. Uh, let's see. There. Yes. Okay, let's go with easy. Because, well, I've heard that this game can be hard as all balls, so we're going to see it. Let's see, do you want to use auto control chips? That will this will equip auto attack, auto fire, auto evade. Uh okay, let's just do it for this. I'm guessing if you have too many of those, the game practically plays itself as more of a like Yeah, an auto player. Everything that lives is designed to end. We are perpetually trapped in a never ending spiral of life and death. Is this a curse? Or some kind of punishment? I often think about the god who blessed us with this cryptic puzzle. And wonder if we'll ever have the chance to kill him. <laughs> okay, start the game on a light zone, why don't you? This is command. Your host squadron, come in. To be here. All units have penetrated the stratosphere. Autopilot systems green across the board. This is Operator 60. All units confirmed. We've passed the 50 kilometer threshold and are proceeding toward the target. Understood. Once you reach their anti air defenses, proceed to manual attack formation. Then destroy the Goliath class unit by any means necessary and gather what data you can. Understood. Yeah. 12H down. All units activate manual mode and rely on visuals to evade. Already engaged. Free movement unlocked. Origin point of long range lasers confirmed. <laughs> well, <laughs> everyone else is falling like flies. Alert. Enemy unit sighted ahead. Requesting permission to engage. Permission granted. Okay, uh... I did not know that this game uh, had a part like this. Okay. Let's hope that this comes out a bit better than uh, in Evo Land. And... Yeah, that was the important one. But yeah, this game has quite a reputation as uh, being quite interesting, but also quite heavy with its subject matter. I'm more no, used to it being known for something else. What, the rule 34? Yeah. <laughs> uh, most time when I hear people, I heard people say it's a good game. But it seems, uh, but most of the time when I hear about it, it seems to be more focused on the uh, character. Yeah. Captain, I think. 4B down. Well. Oh dear. 
I guess Emily is good. All allied units down. The operation is compromised. Awaiting further orders. Uh, operator to 2B. We need you to rendezvous with Unit 9S and begin gathering data on the local terrain. Understood. But I was say, in one way, in my side, is coming with the is I have not heard a single spoiler. Maybe. This is a good thing. Okay, okay. Now <laughs> we're going into a side scroll. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I've known, I know one thing towards the end, but beyond that, I don't know much of the story. Yep. Okay, and enough playing around, so probably a good idea to have those auto chips engaged. <laughs> Can I specifically turn off certain ones, maybe? Or just turn them all off at the second moment? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, techno babble. Short range attack gear. And yeah, here's Alert. the famous. Large enemy group detected. Yes, I'm aware of that. The fame, infamous, and infamous uh, to be. And now our job is to make these things not be. Okay, they give a red line before they. What's this? Okay. Wait, so it's also a skirt. Yeah, it's it's uh, more dress. I think they skipped that one when she became a guest character in Soul Calibur. Why are you having memory loss? Yeah, she she could have gotten a different outfit for Soul Calibur. Yeah, one that's the really the most famous thing about her. About her ass. Yeah. Enemies destroyed. Not quite. Okay. Uh, hello. Uh, wait, we're we're finding a digger. What the heck? Uh. Is that our target? Negative. This enemy is unrelated. Proposal, dispatch it as swiftly as possible. You don't say. Uh, okay, yeah, this is going to get some taking use too with uh, uh, with the way I'm <clears throat> with the way I'm supposed to hold the controller with this because typically I only need two fingers for this, all the shoulder and trigger stuff. Yeah. Ow. But yeah, now I'm needing fingers on the triggers and the shoulders. Okay, fill that bar up so we can use or notice a countdown. Now. Go. Uh, hello. Better make sure he's actually dead next time. That was dangerous, man. Okay, a nine S. You're two B, right? My name's nine S. I'm here to provide support. Copy that. So, was that big old buzzsaw the Goliath you came here to take out? No, just another defensive system. Oh, well, uh, I guess we have to find the target then, huh? 
I've got a flight unit, so I'll take a look around the perimeter. All right. I'll work my way inside from the ground. Okay, always nice when the game lets you walk around during interactions. Okay. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see them. Okay, we can shoot the orbs to break them as well. Okay. Oh, so just, just the size of that sword. Yeah, he's also kind of unusually designed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure even the... Uh... Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean now. It's... It's, whole, it's more that the blit eat is held forwards from it. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure even the biggest of uh, old, the old samurai swords, which were not katanas, they were called something else, not even dai katanas. Uh, oh, there's udashi or nudashi. Yeah, I'm pretty sure even those were this bloody big. Actually, it was a samurai sword that was this big. However... It was not used for combat. Yeah, more ceremonial or execution, I'm guessing. Yeah. No, there was not, wait, there was not a massive one. Be, it was uh, a, that did get it used for combat. I was going to send you the map data I collected earlier. Do it. Okay, there was a, a map. I think this order was that massive. Was a, a, a alternative weapon to uh, be anti-calorie. was meant to shut down horses. Yeah. And it was rarely used due to it, not many people could use it effectively. But it was one of the few Japanese during Samurai era that, you, that had a two-headed double edge sword. It was straight. Okay. Like, I it know was there was... in one manga. Okay. I, I know there is one of those big sword types. Okay, this looks like we could jump over or something. If we didn't fall down, uh, there was, yeah, ma maybe it's the same one you were talking about just now, but there was one big anti cavalry sword that's basically <laughs> whoever, <clears throat> whichever samurai was using that needed a retainer, there's help to uh, unsheath the damn thing and carry it around because it was so yeah. fucking big. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> I know there's a manga I read that has a character using it. I forgot its name. It's, it's mm -hmm. a samurai dude, a, a Ronin. Ronin? Yeah. Oh, his name. What's his name? He's so one of those that did appear in one uh, of the manga manias. And Shonen Jump. Mm -hmm. There's also Genji in Overwatch he uses one of those as his main weapons. Which is why it's an often made joke, I believe, that he would never be able to actually fight because he couldn't be we wouldn't be able to have the reach to pull that damn thing out. His arm is literally not long is literally not long enough to actually pull that out without getting it stuck. Oh dear. But yeah. Giant Sword has been tried. Most of them were just for showing off how good you are crafting swords. But some were, were tried, but they were limited amount of people you could use them and limited moments you could use them for. That kind of sword will not really be effective for all the right formations. Okay, so Auto Chips puts the. puts our little buddy on the. Yeah, Blech. on the auto control, but we can still move and attack ourselves. You know, I'm glad you're here. Why? Scanners like me mostly work alone. Scouting out enemy lines and all that. I don't usually get a partner. It's kind of fun. Emotions are prohibited. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. And another thing. Stop calling me ma'am. Huh? It's unnecessary. All right, then. To be it is. Yeah, to be or not to be. That isn't the question, that's the oh, a bit of oh, very obvious reference. 
I did not know that until you said that. Small recovery. Okay. Yeah. I I think this should be a lot more manageable with these auto chips on for just all of the range stuff. This place sure is big. I guess humans used to use it as a weapons factory, but now it's just crawling with machines. The enemy seems to have repurposed the facility to increase their overall machine production. So if we don't destroy it, they'll just keep coming. Okay, running is a toggle, not the hold. Okay. These camera changes may, yeah, disorient me a little bit, but it's manageable. Okay. It is always with me as well a bit, but I think I think I would not play this game after a while if it kept doing this, but I wouldn't. Like if I am allowed to do it myself whenever I want, if I feel I need to, that would be fine, but if it forces me every time, yeah, that would be annoying. Yeah. This way I'm guessing. that they were just dropping in stuff. So, okay, the, the machines are basically just playing, uh, yeah, random broadcasts. Oop, more. sure about if I were to stream this game. Its quality is known, uh, like with uh, the previous game. It's more the fact that just how long it might take. That might be a bit of a an issue. Yeah, like we might need to investigate how hard it gets and how long it gets. Yeah. Detected on enemies. Close range combat is advised. I know. Okay. Other than that, the combat so far is like your ba is like a lot of these uh, combo fighters. Ooh, hello. Also, will get um, more and more annoying for us, I have to suspect. Uh, what was. Okay, I accidentally deactivated the auto chips. But what is the actual dodge button then? I thought it was supposed to be left trigger, but yeah, I got that wrong. Uh, let's jump. Okay. Oh, taking damage. Hmm. 
I'm presuming. No, wh where would the where would the raid be put then? Or hmm. I, most of these types of games have an evade button, so. If that's put to the same button as the one that turns the other chips on and off. They surveyed the entire factory, but couldn't find anything resembling our target. Maybe they, I don't know, moved it somewhere? Or is it the sprint that's also where the dodge is likely that? Oh. Is that? You mean the birds? Yeah, there's more plants and animals here than there used to be. Probably because the environment's changed. Okay. This totally doesn't look suspicious here. And something here. Okay then. There should be another facility across that bridge. It's a bit of a hike, but should we check it out? It's not like command to get a location wrong. I guess even they get bad intel from time to time, huh? Hmm. I wouldn't bet on that. Ooh. Okay, boss fights. Oh, no, oh, 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 high power jamming detected. No response from long range communications. Doesn't matter. I'll just take him out. Uh, yep, that, that was definitely yeah, an evade. Of, uh, yeah, they <laughs> they literally boxed us in, and I'm pretty sure they're going to be trying to carve this thing up in even smaller bits. Hmm. Now I, I definitely would need to look into. Uh, oops. Uh, how much of these are if these auto chips can be equipped uh, separately or something because I would rather keep them I, I would like this little you know, this little guy to be yep yeah. <clears throat> to be uh, not auto controlled but other stuff like dodging and Is such that? I prefer Target to be myself Oh. Um, so basically, <laughs> all the plants was the target. Something, something, a weapon to surpass Metal Gear? Uh, uh, bad time to use your skill automatically. Okay, I, I knew this game could have some big bosses, but I did not expect uh, one to have one to be so <laughs> to face one so quickly. Even that is on the auto control at the moment. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, th I think if everything is done with these auto chips, it'd be rather boring since the game would basically be playing itself except for movement and such. I think it has a limited amount of ammo. So, yeah, definitely would look into how many of these could be turned off Watch separately. This is the target. I'm going to destroy. Uh, right. I'll provide support. Okay, there's not much we can do. If there's even less we can do now. Incoming enemy attack from below. Proposal. Evade. Genius. 
Okay, okay just take out the entire thing. Don't think we could have stopped that in any way. Uh, Uh, okay, what was that on the side? A combo thing or something? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing that can be done here. Yep. Okay, move back enough. Okay. What is that that pops up? Uh, hello? Okay, I'm guessing in easy... Oop. I'm guessing in easy mode we also only have to beat bosses down to half health to actually win. Boost! It's not half health, it's just uh, stunned. It, it's not defeated, it's just stunned. And that's the timer, the so let's... Request to command. Yep. Negative. Communications have been jammed. Let's go a little bit further then. To see if we get an end to this. And then we'll call it on this game. Okay, it's not... An I'm unsure about if to stream this, more so over because of the supposed difficulty and length of this game, which I'll look into, but uh, this easy mode, with if, if I'm correct that we only have to get the boss to half health, uh, then it would be too easy, I'd say. Yeah, all of all of that is being done automatically. So I'd like to play the game myself as well instead of just letting the it play itself. I have to repair him. Hod, get me staunching gel and logic virus vaccines. Then access the. Inadvisable. The subject's vital signs are too poor to attempt field repair. Shut current... up! Just do what I say. To be... just go. You shut up, too. We... we're soldiers. We take pride in our service. <laughs> HO-229 Flight Unit. Command 677 received. Usage rights transferred from 9S to 2B. Requesting acknowledgement. Please. <laughs> All right. And then we're just going to continue on. <laughs> okay. And yeah, I, I, let's go far. Okay. Yeah, we'll see if we need just need to get it down to half here. That'll confirm. It's. It's almost there. Or was all of that just half health? I didn't know the machines had that kind of intelligence. Yubi. I found a weakness in the target. Hacking in. 
It's not going any lower. Oh, actually, yes, it is. Okay, so it was only with the previous ones that you needed to go to half health, I'm presuming. Yeah, so this is basically an oil rig with two excavators <laughs> connected to it. with his own arm? Looks like it. <laughs> you just die already! about bringing the battle to them <laughs> ought to be contact command request assistance no it doesn't look like that's going to be necessary oh uh, wait what oh uh... oh great <laughs> well <laughs> Good luck with those. I don't imagine that <coughs> this is going to end well. The black box, it's ready. Okay. Right. That better be like a black Requesting hole in a box or something. Destruction of enemy hostiles via black box reaction. Request accepted. Doobie, it was an honor to fight with you. Truly. The honor was mine. Ooh. Well, not a miniature black hole, but just miniature nukes. <laughs> uh, okay, resuscitated bodies. Stare into space from the... What? Okay, now I'm just confused. Pardon? Yeah, I think this is one of the games... Is this a, is it going to be heavy on the story? But also probably going to be just damn confusing. Yeah, that's yeah, system controls. Uh, no need to put a save. Yeah. Okay, yeah, if we are going to stream that, and it's a bit of a 50 50 if at the moment, I'll first look into, well, the difficulty and, well, how, <laughs> how many of those auto chips can be turned on and off separately. Uh, and of course, how long it is, because well, it's it's a Dark Souls like fighter. Though it is, I believe it is not as hard as Dark Souls, so that's going to be a positive. Yeah, but I can see us not streaming. I'm fifty fifty as well, but maybe leaving a no for we discover when we do the research. Yeah. Anyways, on to our fourth game, which is also pretty hard from what I've played of it myself. 
Noita. So, let's just start a new game. Uh, let's see. This game has had quite some updates since it first launched. Let's see. Daily yeah, run, nightmare last mode. Update was in June. Let's see. Daily practice run. Start a run with a randomized spot with randomized items. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can try the same seed. This is this game is a roguelike, as in that well, a lot of stuff is... Well, a, like, a whole lot is made by randomization, or determined by randomization. And yeah, we play as a little character here. We can move around, we can jump and hover a bit, or levitate a bit. And we have wands, which which to shoot. With which, well, we can shoot stuff like lanterns, which of course have oil in them, which will burn when it <laughs> hits the ground. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of chemical reactions with this. Like, we can get... We can become wet from standing into something. Wet clothes protect you from fire. Uh, Though, I mean, of course, I, that I doesn't heard, last long. I heard those games by name. I never watched a game play through of it. We can kick. <laughs> we have an inventory of spells and wands. Wait. Is it like... Wizards or the other... What is it called? Wizards? Uh, if... this... The one where you can play as many mages as with friends and accidentally kill each other and combine yeah. each other's spells into one? Ma Magica, you mean? Ooh. Magica, thank you. Is this like Magica, but... Pixel the... and Solo? Yeah, I guess you could call it that. And this is definitely something I've not seen before. Okay, yeah. Wands will have different stats. Some can be... Uh, some have unlimited ammo, but most will have limited ammo. And yeah, we can get ourselves drenched in blood as well. Protect you from fire. You sense an increased chance of attaining critical hits. Yeah, you, you can get yourself soaked in a lot of stuff. Uh, getting soaked in wood would be a bad idea, I'd say, though. Wait. It's... Repeat that sentence. Yep. But getting doused in flame would be a bad idea. He's like getting soaked in wood. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, let's see, we can pick this up. We can have a maximum of four wands in our inventory, but we can carry four other things. Like at the moment we have a Berserkium potion. Okay. We could either throw that or we could drink from that. And well, with a name like Berserkium, you can take a guess as to what it does. Uh, and that's poison. Okay. Oh dear. Okay, yeah, these these plans are completely new. And oh, yeah, we can get a description of stuff if we hover over it. We have coal, we have rock, we have dense rock, and we have well a crate of explosives. And what happens when you set coal on fire? It burns, of course. <laughs> So yeah, you can get a lot of stuff, you can cause a lot of stuff with, uh, yeah, reacting things with each other. Intentionally, but more likely unintentionally. Nope. I'm gonna have those again. Okay. I kinda like that. Let's give you that. For that, that takes, makes kind of the whole uses with magic more creative and you... You're not throwing spells really nearly without consequence. Like you need to study terrain and use your magic wisely. Yeah. Which okay. I kinda like. We can dig around a bit through the coal here to try and get around. Uh, let's see, what is actually this third one? Okay, it doesn't shovel its spells, which means that it'll suit its spells in the order that they're set here. Oh, okay, it's a torch spell. So, of course... Uh, oh, that's why it's, it's literally just a torch. <laughs> okay. Uh, we can't change these at the moment. Can I... Like I said, often unintentionally. Okay. Yeah, our spells aren't strong enough to break uh, ground at the moment. But yeah, like that Magic Maker game that we showcased a while back, you can make some really powerful wands with this. 
really don't know about this game also doesn't tell you a lot so a lot you have to just find out for yourself i guess this will not be a game we stream uh not there i'm not really sure if there's even a story or anything can we light you on fire with the upwards flames yes we can okay then we just gotta be careful with this thing hmm uh, burn ourselves, of course. Uh, but yeah, th this game can be quite fun, but it can also absolutely kick your ass. And, well, I'm not good at this game, so it would absolutely kick my ass. Okay, that... Killing those things just pops a bubble of poison from them. Ooh, that's oil. That's oil. It's also a plant. And now everything is on fire. Uh. <laughs> Ooh. Let's see. An arrow wands. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there can be a lot of a spell effects. Arrow. It can't show a wooden arrow. Yeah. Okay, I really don't know what the hell is up with these plants. And uh, hello, flaming skull. I seen, I seen Mikey spell some of them elemental arrows like fire. I saw that. Or that yeah. regular arrow, really. Okay, some sort of explosive skull. Let, let's try and at least you. Oh, po some sort of poison spitter. We have our stats up in the air there. Okay, let, uh, let's try and get to the next area at least, and then we'll probably call it for this game. Again, it's it's more a case of just the randomization and such that uh, would get in the way with it, things. Uh, that's a lot of poison going everywhere. Okay. Gotta be careful because even when aerosolized, the acid, yeah, probably more acid, uh, judging by its effect, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> even when. Ooh, aerosolized its yeah, acids can be uh, very dangerous. Mm -hmm. so, not sure what these are, like maybe zombie miners of sorts. Okay, yeah, you you can just wreak absolute havoc on uh, the levels as you go. Oh, hello. Uh, are you infinite use? Let's see, where does it actually say if it is infinite use or not? Let's see. Mana, max, capacity, spreads. Uh, swap you for a second. Okay, these... Yeah. Okay, so I guess it was wrong. A lot of... Uh... Oh, wait, I think I know why that's... that's... Yeah, this is, a... <laughs> this is a TNT wand. Which, well, oh, would no. do the... a very obvious... But it... Of course it did. Of course it just summoned on TNT. And yeah. The goal, of course, is to get as far down as you can. There is a bottom part. I, there is a, a maximum, an end to this. Uh, let's see. We get health regen and spell refresher. Okay. Yeah, that refreshed the one use that we used. And then we can use the gold that we well, would have had if we had more to buy any more of these. But what's also useful here is that you can swap around your spells. So we can put that there. And okay, it's it's the spell effect itself that is limited. Uh, let's see. Lights your wand right up. 
passive. Okay, so yeah, now we have one one with nothing on it, and we have one strong one with a lot of spark bolts on it. Let's see, a weak but enchanting sparkling prog uh, projectile. Bleh. Cost five mana for each of these used. Deals three damage as it has a travel speed of 800. It slows down casting and it has... Okay. Let's see, eight degrees of spread because it has... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. Okay. But each of them gives plus five crit chance. Or has plus five crit chance. And yeah, you, you can just see how many different spell effects there are likely to be, and just how much mayhem you can cause with these. So, and yeah, the blue bar is oh, our mana, oh. or the wand mana. And here we can select a modifier. Let's see, fire immunity. Or, wait, uh, press E to pick no wands tinkering. Wands cannot be tinkered with, but enemies may drop blood money. Okay. Fire immunity, you take no damage from fire. That would be very useful, I'd say. Or always cast one off. A random always cast spell is added to the wand in your hands up to a maximum of four. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that, yep, that's perk reroll. Okay, I like that it identifies these by rolling, o by mousing over them as well. And yeah, after you've done that, you just, well, head over here and the place starts to crumble behind you. So yeah, no going back and into the next area. Okay, achievements were added after last I played as well then, but yeah. Uh, let's see, shoot, use spray potion, switch one, but just and throwing it. Okay, yeah. Uh, also a good game, but yeah, because it's very randomized, it can absolutely kick your ass. <laughs> Okay. So far, so far, we haven't found a game that there's a definitively yes on stream, just no and maybe. Yeah. Okay, one more. This one is actually... Okay. Hmm. Wait, did it say... Oh, wait, did it also say maybe no really nice, didn't we? Yeah. And yeah, this is Nox. Which is, uh, the only reason I've got this working is because I'm using a, a fan a, a fan patched version, so to say, called Open Nox. And yeah, uh, <laughs> this is an old uh, style Diablo-like, from what I know and have seen, what little I have. That was made by Westwood Studios, aka the people who were behind uh, Command and Conquer and such, I believe. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Intro. I think Westwood also report on one of the Spellforce games. Hail Sabrium and trapped in the dark. Hail Sabrium and drift on thy bark. Dark Lords banish thy reign is nigh. My time to bring the orb die. Over tonight, Jack. on the My undead lords within the core, your name I hail. Enfold the orb. What the heck? Donande tak, donande tek, a room mental said. Damn. Hun, you want bacon? You know I do! Damn TV! Lousy second-rate candle makers kill them all when I rule the world. What sort of half-baked operation do they think I'm running here? <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Just sweep the legs of any seriousness. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I call upon the power of one dark name. One black heart. One grievous soul. I call upon the power of... Oh, 
At last, the power of the orb is mine, and with it the souls of the dead. Soon I shall rule triumphant over all of Nox! <laughs> Blazes! What manner of demon spawn dares attack my ship? Off, you mutant imp, or you'll have no head to put a hat on! Wait, please! I need your help! I don't know what's happened, or where I am, or... What is this place? No place at all, except the clouds. But off the noble Julian you go, under your power, or by the lift of my boot! Ah! Hold on, what's this? It's my TV. Hmm, and what does this TV do? Do? Uh, it doesn't really do anything. You just watch it. See, here's where you plug it in, and this knob changes the channels. I think it's broken. Intoxicating. The look of it promises a host of mysteries. You should see it when it's on. Give me the glass box, Imp, and I'll spare you your deadly plummeting fate. Why do you keep calling me Imp? My name is Jack. Granted, you've no wings, but you fly like an Imp. I can't fly. I fell. I fell here from my living room. <laughs> fell from what? No matter. It's either overboard with gravity as your guide, or I take the TV as fair for safe passage. <laughs> Deal? Can you take me home? Tina made bacon tonight. Bacon bound we go, Imp. But first, I need your help with something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I feel like I've seen some of this somewhere. Like, okay. I don't know if I see somebody in a trail or something. Okay, that that was obviously a lot more dated than what we saw with uh, <laughs> Neverwinter Nights, but that might have had a bit of a polish up, the enhanced edition. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> just, uh, just okay, that 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 bit with the candle was hilarious. But yeah, I, and also I like I looked it up, uh, looked it up. Uh, it seems that the developers were phenomic of Spell Force, not uh, Westwards. Okay. Now, one thing that I have read about this game is that the story actually changes depending on what class you take. And okay, I'm pretty sure I've seen this before in either a video of Mandalore Gaming or Seth. Seth. Seth with two S. I can't. I have no clue how to say the next part of the rest of the name, but I have seen this picture used before. So yeah, we have warrior, we have conjurer, basically shaman, and we have wizards. Oh, I think I know why I made remember. Being so, someone was about to play it, and were he in through and here, but then we had to leave. Okay. <clears throat> but, yeah. D d yeah. To get this game working in windowed mode, I had to use the Open Nox version of it, which can be found online. Uh, you can still buy the game on GOG and such, but that refused to work in windowed mode, and since that's typically better for streaming, well, Open Nox it is. Seems that this game does have quite a fan base. So, okay, let's go with Warrior. And see how this goes. Uh, let's see. Okay, we can, we can change things here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we can even make ourselves pink or completely dark. Okay. I, I did not really expect we'd be able to customize our character after we saw them in the intro. Sideburns. Oh, you can turn those on and off. Beard, mustache. Okay, uh, let's go with that. I do believe I perceive the glint of a young fire knight in your eye. <laughs> Could be. If that be your path, then the way of the warrior. Find your way through these brooding mountains to the great subterranean fortress Dune Mir. Find the warlord Horrendous. Learn his ways. The way of the warrior. And maybe, just maybe, you'll survive on Nox. Okay. We have arrived, lad. Dune Mir, timeless fortress home of the Warrior Way, training grounds of the glorious Fire Knights. Gain entry to Dune Mir, find the Academy, and then be ready for the test of your life, the gauntlet. It weeds out the weak recruits. 
Okay, so depending on what you choose, he brings you somewhere else. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, we need to we need to finish talking first. Okay. Okay, right mouse to move, left to attack. Okay. And let's see, sign reads, break barrels to obtain goodies inside. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bat, seek deep and dark places to find these leathery winged flyers of the night. By themselves they are an annoyance, but in a swarm they will, can rip you to bits in seconds. Okay. Uh, let's see, beast scroll can't... Uh, okay, how do I close that? Or is that just going to keep up? Or stay up? Okay, no auto attack. You need to keep clicking, it seems. But yeah, as, as I said, this is very much like Diablo. Uh, is there any... Is there any buttons to show stuff that can be interacted with ah, inside? Stranger! Let's get to know each other. Buy something! Let's see, we've got some apples. Yeah, definitely. It is old school game. Okay, how do we... Up there, X. Okay, uh... Oh, he's still here. Uh... Okay. Is there a way to click this away? Doesn't look like it, for some reason. Hmm. Wait. Is, it a... is this game from before 2000? Could be. Give the gauntlet, huh? I hope you're up to the challenge. Okay. Welcome so it could to be also we keep it tight, city. No game. street brawls, foul language, or spitting is allowed. Don't even think about wizardry. Enjoy your stay. Okay. Sorry, Hina, that means you're not are not allowed to swear. <laughs> what? A wizard spy? <laughs> Come with us peacefully, or I'll bash you again. Oop, he dropped something. Flimsy staff. Okay. Hmm. Probably best not to use that ourselves. Or what is that like? It's we can equip it. And just <laughs> beat people over the head with that. Probably better than just uh, trying to break things with our fists. Uh let's see. Okay. Hello? I'm the quartermaster of Dunmir. If you wish to run the gauntlet, you'll need official sponsorship. Okay, and how will we get this? Oh. Uh, who are you? Hello, I'm Gearhart, chief engineer for Dunmir. The gauntlet is brutal, and getting past the quartermaster is the toughest part. <laughs> I'll tell you what, <laughs> if you'll do me a favor, I'll put in a good word for you. How about it? He looks like Adam Savage! <laughs> okay. Actually, yeah, it is a bit. <laughs> Good. My family grows the finest apples of Doom But fortunately, a foul little urchin has moved into the cave near our orchard. He has aggravated the bats, and now they attack anyone who enters the orchard. Go kill the urchin, and when you return, I'll sign your petition. Here, take this ruby he key. It'll open the orchard gate. Uh... The feel to me almost sounded like Adam Savage. Almost. Does, does he mean for us to go just go... <laughs> No, oh, okay, L causes you to laugh. Shade us. Uh, don't know what that does. Uh, let's see, we have a map we can bring up. Uh, yeah, I'm getting a feeling that a lot of this game would be more in the manuals. Uh, let's see, where? Okay, that must be the yeah, orchard uh then. I suspect this might be 2000 game for after 2000 West, they were still making games like these. Uh, okay, no need to use the key. And um, okay. I like how they're actually running around and getting chased by the by the bats. Okay. Might as well. And well, the uh, 
the voice acting is about on par as what you'd expect from this era, huh? Yeah, I think... It, it, it's, there are many hit miss, but so far they're all decent, I say. Like, they have heard worse. Okay. So this game does seem to be a bit more self-aware. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Okay, we found gold in a barrel in a chest. Okay. Another chest. This just spills out its contents. Let's see, a button to see things that can be interacted with would be nice. And, oh, okay, that's not... That's not, definitely not the kind of urchin I was thinking about. <laughs> I, was, I really thought they sent us out to go kill a kid. <laughs> but no, that was actually just a, a creature called an urchin, it seems. Huh? Oh, thank you. That was very brave. <laughs> very bored. Those little flying rats make my skin crawl. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. One was better the voice acting there, but the first woman that we heard was rather... Bored. Oh. Yeah, my Ralph brother's gonna run the gauntlet this very day. Mother's worried, but I'm not. He will bring great honor to our family. Okay, now how do we find a guy who hired us? Yeah, that one sound, uh, um, that one was very neutral over. Uh, it did <laughs> sound familiar. I think it's just green so that they want to look at Adam Savage and tell them they all sound like him, which kind of surprised me. Oh, no, oh yeah, he had done some voice acting. Okay. Uh, let's see, we've got the copper sword we can equip. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> uh, where do we see how much damage that does, if at all? I'm not seeing any changes here. Okay, middle mouse button is jump, apparently. Okay. So, you're looking for the gauntlet. It's beyond the grand statue of Horrendous. Okay. Another shopkeeper. Our goods are guaranteed to work under all circumstances. Yeah, where is the, where is the guy <laughs> who asked us to do that favor for him? Uh, what's? Okay, is that a statue? Or is that someone there? Uh, let's. See. I like that you can just push through the doors instead of needing to use keys or click on them. Hmm. Where is that guy? Is he in the orchard house here or something? I didn't see if he left or something. in this game. You have played this before, correct? Nope. nope. Urchin. Cowardly rock lobbing denizens of the world beneath. Urchins are the best experience best experience face to face. I find that uh a questionable judgment on that. Okay, seriously, where is the guy? Also, when he said he ran the best orchard, it also seems to be the the only orchard. But yeah, this this game does have enough of a fan base for someone to have put it on. Uh, yeah, an op uh, to make a, m a modern function version of it. Yep, we can actually move, push stuff around. Alright, I will explain whether you can use the middle mouse button for... I don't think many games, if, it, if it's from the, before 2000 or early 2000, not many mouses had a middle mouse button yet. Yeah. And I know like, I because I was alive during that time. Yeah, well, I think I sort of hear about some, but it was not common. And most of the, the times that you had them, they were mostly used for scrolling down things. Like a page or something. Yeah. But they were not much used for gameplay. Also, I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, Fog of War stuff like this game is doing was very much not a thing in Diablo as well. You cannot pass. Indeed. Okay, where is that guy? 
Excellent. Not there. You killed the urchin. Here's your petition. Show it to the quartermaster and he'll let you into the gauntlet. Good luck. Okay, what the okay, hell is all of that over there? Okay. I know this Abbot that Sabbath's voice in him, but it was a few to me. I almost sound like him. You'll but it is always not order. him. You may now hmm. enter. That was his name. spry, callow youth named Jandor, who stood at this very threshold, gateway to the gauntlet, the supreme test. You are like the young Jandor in many ways. Impetuous, headstrong, and maybe too overconfident. <laughs> the gauntlet will cure you of all that, lad. If you make it through, then Horrendous will decide your worthiness as an apprentice from there. Get going. You have a long way before you can wear the hallowed crest of a fire knight. You have to survive the gauntlet first. Okay, I can definitely see why people would like this game because it has a lot of personality. Horrendous, here is another uh, recruit who wishes to add to the glory of the Fire Knights. Oh, next. Welcome, candidate. I am Horrendous. Participation in the Gauntlet is a time-worn honor. I trust you will not dishonor us or yourself by failing. Since here, dishonor equals death. Now go forth and bring glory to us all. Okay. There's a lot of voice actors I recognize here. I just don't know their names, sadly enough. Okay, and this is the guy who that statue was of then. And I just looked it up. This game came out in 2000 flats. So yeah, just 2000. Oh dear. <laughs> Okay, what sort of shenanigans are we going to get into with all of this? Let's see. Okay, are we expected to just jump over the lava here? Or... Oh, no, we can't get out of that. Okay, okay now it... As is a bit usual with this, I have a smaller window than what is seen on stream. Welcome, candidate. You're just in time. Step forward and witness the next candidate run the gauntlet and add to the glory of the Fire Knights. Come on, let's watch. He's so going to die. I hope nothing bad happens. He is so going to die horribly. For the glory of horrendous Gaia! <laughs> That's it for me. Ah, uh, not quite start. Well, you're next. Good luck, <laughs> candidate. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's not that many bones in the body, or at least bones of that size. Unless there was remains. Yeah, not not being over his own. None of them. Yeah, I just don't think all those bones were his. Okay, switch get. Oh, switches get activated by just walking into them. Also, those things, those things closed after we moved in. So was he? Did he just trip and fall on his face and ex get exploded by the trap or something? Because just normal walking speed is enough to get past him. <laughs> okay. The, uh, Urchins. For a moment, I thought they were putting, <laughs> sending chickens at us. Okay, some apples. But yeah, this game definitely has a lot of character. That is already so very clear. Yeah, I, I, I want to say we should stream this, but yeah, we should investigate how long mm -hmm. it is first. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It was your destiny to fail in Dunmir and die such a messy death. Horrendous will soon fall before me too, as I, Hecuba, usher in the dark age of the Necromancer and rule unchallenged over all Nox. Yep. Yeah, definitely two thousands. But this is a thing that happened a lot in before and slightly after two thousand before on the other games. Yeah, luckily this version, at the absolute least, has an auto save because uh, I'm pretty sure games of this time would not have auto saves. And yeah, not I did not expect it would kick our ass with one fireball. Then again, Welcome we are just a kid in a just in time. jeans and shirt. And witness the next... I hope nothing bad well, you're, you're an adult. For the glory of horrendous... 
I'm pretty sure you tried to say about be. 20 years uh, old, but uh, not the combat weapon well, or anything like it. that. Yeah. Good luck, candidate. Just, just, just see how... Did he just literally trip the moment he turned the corner or something? Because that is... Uh, Probably. Oh, good gods. Yeah. This game, I feel more positive about the streaming. Yeah, it, it'll need the research, that's for sure. To see yeah, about controls and length and such. Yeah, but I do feel like this is different on those games people have a lot of laugh at. Yeah, just from this sheer absurdity. The, like, the, the fact that they start with that in the bloody intro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, does it, it, it? What is it, a era that this came out? There were many the Diablo-like were becoming a slowly a genre, but people just kept calling them clones, insultively usually. Yeah. Not complimentary. It was broader. I asked, I kept asking people, are you saying clone in a bad or positive way? I don't know if that's supposed to be insult or not. I don't know. Apparently, no one knew, at least back then, mm. if uh, calling a clone was a good or bad thing. Okay. But, but again, genre was a not term many kids knew <laughs> around that time. Okay, we have our health over here, as well as two usable slots cure. Okay, cure poison slot and food slots. Okay, <clears throat> I missed those earlier. Uh, the other light games are usually not super long. There are exceptions, but I do see this. I never finished um, Sacred One or any other Sacred games. Not. Oh yeah, those would be Diablo-like. But uh, yeah, I was going to say earlier, uh, FPS games were called Doom clones before it became more of a well-established genre. So it could be more, could also be just a, yeah, if something is called a clone these days, it's typically bad. But back in the day, it was more just a lack of, a, more a lack of a terminology, I guess. Yeah, for strategy games had a term. But OPG, at least among kids, was not an official thing, but, but older, older games knew what the OPG was. But yeah, yeah. your kids did not know. <laughs> okay. Uh... And then of okay, course, there are fighting know. games. Yeah. It's rather easy. Like, there were some simple ones, but uh, RPG and Diablo like were usually called clones. Can we break these? Yes, we can. Okay. Bunch of supplies for us. Okay. You're not allowed to carry any more of those. Okay. The game beckons you to come closer if you're out of range to grab something. I like that. And this must be a... Yeah, that's a pro cure po poison. Oh, what the heck are you? Oh, you're an ogre or a troll? Ow, you hit hard. That's what you are. Uh, he kicked you. Yep. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, oh, and that's poisons as well. Okay, yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let the <laughs> the heat here to deal with that. And uh, hello. Okay, I see. We follow along, then go outside. There we go. Okay. Save to auto save. And we've gotten a level, let's see, Berser and a skill, Berserk Charge. You can now launch yourself headlong into the fray. You'll move swiftly and strike your foes with tremendous force. Plot your direction carefully, striking a wall can stun you. Okay, and uh, we have that to just... A. And, oh, it'll even damage us as well, okay. Uh, let's see. Troll, Beast's Troll. Okay, so that was a troll. Trolls always show up at the wrong time. Awkward and slow, their kick packs a wallop. Don't hang around, after one dies, their stench is noxious. Uh, okay. 
Congratulations, warrior. You are indeed worthy of the title. Okay. Well, I see you made it out in one piece. Good work, lad. While you were running the gauntlet, the express elevator jam trapping Gearheart in the main power room deep below the city. Horrendous is concerned for our chief engineer. We must go beneath the city and find Gearheart. Okay. Why do we get the feeling that Gearheart might be a bit of a reference or something? Maybe? Step onto the service elevator. From there, <coughs> we will go past the sewers and down to the main power room. Of course there's sewers. Uh, let's see, how are we doing on time? Okay, a few minutes left. We might, we might as well. Yeah, this, this game is a bit clunky, but I definitely see... Uh, would we have fallen to our death if we... If I'd been too early there. Oh, blast it all! Now the service elevator has jammed. I'll try to find another way down. Find Gearheart! <laughs> okay. Now, this game is clunky, but I more than see why people are fans. Yeah. I'm leaning, yes. Yeah, but, but we should investigate. Though if yeah. this is supposed to be itself a little bit more comical, it probably is not too long. Oh, red potions for health, of course. Uh, yeah, these types of games to do, that's going to slam down the line eventually. Yeah, I'm definitely curious about this. Oh, wait, they're more blocking the way. Okay, there they go. Hmm. Another scroll. Spider. Give this hairy horror wide burst <laughs> for or stall its unpleasant poisonous bites. Okay. Also, that, po that potion sound is the same as uh, in a uh, Techno Mage. Ooh. Oh, it's not sound. Yeah. But that that sort of tends to make them rather classical as well. Ow. Okay, at yeah. least they're going slow. I, I don't mind when games using stock sounds, as long as it makes sense. Okay. Oop. And I, I like that the... Uh, I, I like that the image stays for a second after you lose sight. Yeah, that's kind of good, actually. What I'm saying, all right. The only thing I don't like when uh, people use stock sounds is when they use the stock sounds poorly. Yeah, it's is giant leaf. Like... Wherever you find Ooh. water, keep an eye out for this black slime parasitic menace. Okay. Let's see, as an example, you have a lion-like monster and suddenly it is screeched like an angry eagle. That that, that's just bad. bad. That's just yeah, bad, that's just bad audio use. work. That, that's yeah, just bad, bad audio, audio work. <laughs> yeah, bad audio work, just bad use of uh, stock sound. Like, if you really use a lion-like mode, use well, lion-like sound. Okay, that, that's less an issue of quality and more just uh, the heck were <laughs> the heck is are the people getting paid uh, for to do uh, to, for yeah. the, the sp little spiders. So yeah, if you want to use stock sounds to for your games, go ahead, just Make use sure it wisely. Yeah, unless you're going for jokes with it or something that's uh, or being meta. <laughs> meta with it, like <laughs> your character knows they're in a game or something, and they're asking questions why the hell do the frogs sound like lions and such? Yeah. Oh, dear. Okay. Another potion. But yeah, I would definitely be interested in this if it isn't too long or such. Yep. And that's the timer going off. Okay. Uh, we don't have a poison clear, so I. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm. I'm definitely interested in this. If the humor goes from start to finish like that, that could just be a ton of fun. <laughs> yeah. And um, in this style, I can miss. But it's a lot of charm. Yeah. 
And yeah, that's about two hours uh, precisely almost. So let's head on over here and do a recap. Uh, Neurodeck, uh, no. no. Interesting concepts, yes, no. but execution is uh, mm, failed or flawed, I better say. Never went to yeah, an enhanced just... edition. Leaning, yes. Yeah, Maybe. we could. Depending on what campaign we do, I'm presumably we'll, we'll we'll probably do the main campaign. But since it has a multiplayer mode, and uh, actually, let me take a quick look on Steam. I have the game. Yes. <laughs> okay, and anyone I, else? I've never been playing multiplayer on it, though. I don't know how that works. Uh, I'm guessing you need at least one host uh, to actually well run the thing and. May, I'm presuming they'll also be able to play a, a character themselves. Uh, let's see. Store page typically shows that. Let's see. Uh, eight friends already own this. Let's see. Uh, okay. Noon has it. And um, let's see. Okay. There's, it's only showing six here. So I'll have to check who who the other two are. But, uh, yeah, we could probably run this multiplayer sometime. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that Neverwinter Nights main campaign, highly likely. Uh, if possible, we'll even try to do multiplayer with it, because that could just lead to utter mayhem. <laughs> oh, uh, dear God. Near Automata... Uh, we'll need a little bit more research, but I'm, I'm, I'm leading to likely. I'm. Let's put let's put in another. Uh, we we have yes, maybe, and no. And let's add in another. Uh, what would you call that? Likely. Yeah, this. Uh, I likely? mean more of uh, another grade. Let's call it that. So we have yes, likely, maybe, which is more of a 50-50 chance ish. Likely being more like 70 30 percent, 70 percent chance. And uh, yeah, just no for it, no. Uh, but yeah, near automata. Yeah. I'm going to put that one as a likely as well. Just needs research. Uh, actually. It's before mm -hmm. new, new automata, they said maybe. Yeah, probably more maybe, since I can actually just look yeah, up the length now, how long to beat. Near, which is actually the Dutch word for kidney. What the heck? Yeah, okay, near automata, main story, 21 hours about. Okay. But I do think there are multiple endings, though we would likely just end up with... We do just go with the uh, ending that we get. <laughs> yeah, well, we try for the good ending, if possible. Yeah. Uh, let's see then. Noita, nice game. Maybe a, a stream here and there, but uh, it's more that kind of game that you just stream to just have fun with it not for the story or, or completion or anything because then you'd just be banging your head against a wall over and over ah so it does a no on that one otherwise yeah it's just incidental streams maybe yeah but uh, no yeah just no uh, start to finish type of streaming more and last yeah. but not least we have Nox which I also just looked up. Main story said to be 14 hours. Uh, main plus extra, 30. Completionist, 44. Though they, the colors in this... Uh, the way that How Long to Beat works is with blue is when it's been done by multiple people. Uh, when it's purple, it's a lot more uncertain because less people have done that. And red... Uh, or Well, the, the, basically the closer to red it goes, the... Uh, the less people or less examples they have of that. So, yeah. <clears throat> I believe that's 14. what there is. It's... 14 hours is... That's good, actually. Yeah. That's like... That's basically about seven episodes? -ish. Yeah. Yeah, seven, eight, maybe nine, depending on how things go. 
Yep. Yeah. Typical old game stuff. Uh, save often, save quick, uh, save multiple times or multiple slots. And... I can see we accidentally go 10% on that, depending how much side quests we do. But yeah. Yeah. Probably is that's probably going to be a laugh. So we'll put Nox as a yes. And yeah, that'll be for... all the games for today. So yeah. the, the, wait, the only game we have a confirmed yes now is Nox. Yeah. <laughs> you could call that maybe a bit obnoxious. <laughs> okay, bad pun. Aren't all my puns bad? <laughs> That's the answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, let's go look for someone to raid. So, change the screen share to the browser. Move to Twitch. Uh, apparently this... Oop. Apparently I forgot to go to the main parts. And someone... I was watching raided someone else, it seems. Okay, let's see. Uh, we have Starnak, who is just chatting at the moment. Uh, Planet of Zaza. Are they playing a game and just forget to put on the thing? Uh, yeah, they just forgot to turn on. <laughs> they forgot to swap over to whatever it was. Um, I think I've seen similar to this, at least. I think I played a demo of a game called Planet of Lana or something. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, let's this is see. like a racing game we looked at the other day. Yeah, but this doesn't... Uh, it's more of the style, more, not the gameplay. This looks like yeah. some platform puzzler, maybe. Uh, actually, yeah, I recognize that thing. Yeah, the, I played a demo of this, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Uh, next up, we have Big V Streams playing Baldur's Gate 3. I'm a flanker with Call of Duty Warzone. Sassly... Sassy Lee is playing Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Okay. Then we have Redacted Cat with Rise of the Triads. I'm Nice with Palia. Uh, Chubbers the Moon Seal with Elden Ring. It's, it seems like every day we stream, they stream as well. <laughs> and Sour Walvis yeah. with Armored Core 6. Isayir, uh, Hisaya Rozier is playing Neo 2. And then we have Kiri Natsuyoko with Holocure Save the Fans. <laughs> okay, <I've... laughs> it's a, uh, it's an okay. official game uh, with many Hololive members in it. Are you talking uh, with an official fan game or is this an official game? Yeah, okay, it looks to be a Holocure you know, Survivors game. Like, that has been a genre that's just recently popped up with vampire survivors and such. And last but not least, we have Horatius the Dwarf, who is just chatting, but apparently not doing their typical psycholo psychology stuff. Uh, let's see. Uh, last day of vacation stream. Okay. Hmm. Okay, who would you say to raid? I'm, I'd say I'd personally pick between Sassy Lee or Starnak. Same. I let you pick between the, those two. Uh, let's see. Starnak raided us recently, so it would be uh, fair to raid them back. Uh, uh, pizza is there as well. Uh, yeah, let's go raid them. Uh, yeah, let's go raid them. Okay. Uh, copy the name, head to our place. I really should change the icon at some point because my, my bleh, this the, uh, bleh, this Twitch account icon, since that still has the brown coat. Uh, but uh, I do have a I do have a new <clears throat> I do have a new uh, avatar in the works. I have no idea how long that might take. So uh, yeah, my. <laughs> That wouldn't be too hard to swap this icon out and just, when that is done, swap another in. So, yeah, I'll, I'll try to get to that today. Watch me forget it. But, yeah, for now, slash raid and paste. But before we go, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Glacier Boy. Uh, thank you, Red Viper Serbia. Um, <clears throat> and Jinger Fox. Yeah, it's VT. And, of course, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, let's see. 
in about two and a half hours, a bit more, if nothing gets in the way, of course. Uh, we'll be streaming again. I'll check in with Rom if they're up for LA Noir. Otherwise, it'll be more Dave the Diver. And yeah, since I'm going on vacation on Tuesday, not Monday as I originally thought, we can do extra streams tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm thinking one of those for Dave the Diver. And the other... Yeah, you suggested Valheim? Yeah, Valheim is one idea. Okay. Uh, we'll see what we do in the other, if we do two streams then. Uh, since I will yep. have to prep for the vacation and everything. <clears throat> but yeah. yeah, for now, let's start that raid. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for zombie seagulls, leeches, trolls, and spiders. Mm.